Howdy, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make a couple of belt buckles for a friend of mine. We're gonna make one out of sodalite and one out of moss agate. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, since I don't have a flat lap, I'm using my drill press and this diamond cutting wheel here, and I'm cutting the stone in half um, this way. That way I can get a nice thin stone for the belt buckle. And I'm just using the flat surface of the stone, the unfinished side right here on this table, and I'm just working all the way around the stone in, until it will eventually cut in half. The soda light cab, on the other hand, it's too big. I can't cut it in half, but I will at least use the diamond cutting bit here to get an edge started. That way I can have a nice uh, guide when I take this to the saw and cut it manually. Okay, I was not able to cut through this piece entirely. There's still just a sliver of rock in there to cut out. And we still have to do this one here. So there's more on this one, but I have a nice guide where the blade needs to go in order to cut this in half. So I'm using a very thin, thin blade here that's just thin enough to fit in where I had left those grooves at. And, uh, two pieces. Now that the cutting is done, I wash off the oil, and as you can see, we have a nice 
piece that's been separated. We actually have a backup just in case. Um, I could have easily taken this to the grinder and just ground down the back of it to that line, but I liked this option better, giving more of a clean and precise cut. Uh, same thing with the moss agate here. So I need a much thinner slab. And I didn't have one, so I had to improvise. So this actually worked out really, really well. Now, it comes time to put the belt buckles together. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put some fabric on the back of these stones before I secure the stones in place, just because there is a slight difference between the height, and I already tested it out. These make up for that height difference, and will help kind of um, secure the stone in place. So all with, with these, all we have to do is add the screws to the back, and they're secure. Gotta line it up. Now, I'm not gonna glue these in just yet, uh, just in case something goes wrong, I need the ability to quickly unscrew these without having to use acetone or anything. Just like that, we have a beautiful sodalite bell buckle. It turned out really nice. What do you think? Okay, so with the gold colored belt buckle here, we're gonna quadruple down on fabric since it was a little thinner than I had hoped. So give me a moment here to get all this fabric lined up. Now it's too much fabric. So yeah, we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna have to use three pieces of fabric, not four. Four was too much. This is why I'm not gluing everything in place. This allows me to double check, make sure everything fits, and then go from there. Perfect. Belt buckle is complete. Look at that. Isn't that cool or what? Nice Mori Mountain Moss Agate. And now we have two complete belt buckles. Which one do you like? Admittedly, this video was done for some time. I just had to wait until after Christmas to really post this. It was a gift. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this process and enjoyed the result of these two bell buckles. If you guys want to see more content like this, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Rock on!